So I'm going to do a follow-up video now for Cheryl, who added a few weeks ago. But first, I'm just going to mention curettage and cautery. And I've had this discussion with a few people who've commented on previous videos about a full thickness excision. So here we are with a lesion. So we can do curettage plus or minus cautery when we have material that's been removed that's softer than the surrounding skin or if there's a natural plane to separate the diseased tissue, typically Veruca, from the normal. So let's see if we can get this to play. Firm, Firm pressure, pressure with the curette, with the curette scrapes, scrapes the lesion off the skin. skin. So that's using a Voltman spoon or a curettage to take away our lesion. And certainly there are videos on YouTube and I've been discussing this with some of my Australian colleagues and some of my American colleagues and Canadian colleagues who would typically do curettage, maybe then using some phenol to the base of the dermal epidermal junction. And that's been, um, I wouldn't say standard practice because I don't think every podiatrist does it, but that's been for curettage more the norm rather than going through and doing a full thickness excision, which has been my particular thing for quite a few years. So here's the case we had up about, what are we now, about two months ago, and it's the one that's titled Video Full Thickness Core Excision, another case because I've got a few of these, and this is Cheryl, she's the one with a great giggle. So this is her one week post debridement of the lesion, and at this point we've just got the... Um, this is when she just sat down and this is just taking off the dressing. Just had the histo report back and it came back as Veruca stroke core. And it didn't make a, a clear distinction one way or the other. But no great surprise that it didn't come back just as a corn. So this is at one week. And then this is six weeks post-procedure. This is before I've done any debridement of the overlying callus. You can see there's a little bit of callus there. And then using some of my vestigial chiropodial skills... I've taken away the overlying callus. So you can see there's still a little bit of extravastation within the tissue there. And I've then sent her off to one of my local private pod colleagues for regular podiatric input. But in terms of the lesion that she presented with two months ago, this is now 80-90% better. She's likely to be Veruca free. She's hopefully going to be corn free. You can see she's prone to, she's got a couple of corns on the tips of the toes. Unfortunately, she's a a long-term smoker and I find that nicotine use is a particular problem with plantar callosities. People talk in the pod world about smokers' corns. So a little follow-up for Cheryl, just to say that full thickness excision I think is a really good option and um, I'll carry on reading and researching about this. <laughs>